Hey y'all, welcome to Pleiadian Point of View. I'm Peyton with Peyton Energetics and I'm a Pleiadian channel. So in this week's Point of View, I wanted to share with y'all one of the most profound things the Pleiadians have ever taught me. And you have heard them say this in a couple of other videos, but we haven't really gone down the rabbit hole to explore it. So we're going to do that in today's Point of View. Now, in a couple videos, you have heard the Pleiadians say, and this is one of their favorite mantras lately, there is no truth, there is only perception. And so when the Pleiadians first started telling me this, first of all, I loved the way it sounded, but I didn't really appreciate what they were telling me. So what they mean when they say this is they are trying to help humans understand how truly powerful we are as creators. Now, we know this intellectually or theoretically. We've heard our spiritual teachers tell us this, that we create it all. And so we kind of know this at an intellectual level. But the Pleiadians wanted us to understand how this breaks down practically, what this means in terms of how we are actually creating everything in our reality. So the way they like to explain this is to point out that there are only about a handful, according to the Pleiadians, of actual universal laws. They say everything else is perception. So when they talk about universal laws, what are they referring to? Because when we think about this from a human perspective, the first thing that my mind goes to is, well, science, physics, those are absolute truths, right? And the Pleiadians like to kind of chuckle and say, nope. So when we talk about universal laws, what the guides are talking about is there are only a couple fundamental principles that apply to all consciousness, all of existence. And some of these universal laws, the Pleiadians like to describe as the fact that there is only one consciousness in all existence. So all is one is one of our universal laws. Another one is that there is only the now moment. There is no past and there is no future. And another one that we are very familiar with, one that we play with a lot in the spiritual community, is that what you give out you get back. And sometimes we think of this as the law of mirroring or the law of attraction. And what it is telling us is that the energy, the vibration we give out is what we create or manifest in our life. But many other things that we think of as being truth with a capital T actually isn't. So the Pleiadians started to explain this more to me recently. And so what they wanted us to understand is how much of what we believe creates our realities. And a lot of what we believe isn't actually true. It is just something that we have been told is true. So as humans, again, we like to give the guides the examples of physics and gravity and say, how can this not be true? And the Pleiadians like to point out well, many of the things that we consider to be cold, hard truth in our reality actually are only a concept in our reality. They don't even exist as factors in the rest of the universe. And so one example that I gave the Pleiadians was, well, what about gravity? And what they came back with was, you know, you have monks on your world who can levitate. So there are ways around gravity. So they are just illustrating with this example that some of the things that we think very rigidly about, that we think nothing can change this, this is just how things are, actually are not that way at all. And so as humans, their point is that we give away a lot of our creative power, believing that certain things are absolute truths, when really they're just perception. So according to the guides, what creates our reality is actually our beliefs. So when we buy into certain beliefs that something is true, we make that cold, hard fact in our life. It is our beliefs that create our entire reality. So the Pleiadians want us to understand 
the power of our beliefs and how important it is for lightworkers and starseeds to start examining all of our beliefs right now. So according to the Pleiadians, we don't have to buy into what other people around us choose as their truth. So of course, in our 3D matrix, we have been told a story of our reality that is very limited, that is very limiting. And most of us have just through our programming bought into that story. And so the Pleiadians are encouraging us to start stretching our creative muscles because as we start to let go of limiting beliefs, what we do is we move to another parallel reality, a reality that does not have that limiting belief as part of its fabric. So the way things have operated in our 3D reality is that a small group of humans have controlled the narrative for everyone. And by doing that, they have persuaded people to buy into a particular belief structure that creates the reality that benefits them. And so the guides are encouraging us if we want to change our reality, if we want to create the new earth that we are all looking forward to so much, we have to start by changing our beliefs. And that means questioning everything we have been taught. Because once we buy into a belief, we create that as our reality. It becomes the framework for everything. And so many of us have a ton of belief systems that we don't even know we have. We have been told by our society that you have to work every day of your life. Well, guess what? That's not a truth. That is just something we have been taught and trained to believe. We have been told that a small group of people control everything on the planet. That's not actually a truth. It's only a story that we have been told and we bought into. So the Pleiadians are starting to gently nudge us to start to question this, question what we are being told, the narrative we are being sold. Because the story that is sold to the entire world benefits whoever is telling the story. And so if we want to really stand in our power as creators, it's important for us to take back control of that narrative because the narrative determines our beliefs and our beliefs determine the world we are living in. Another great example they like to give us is they point out that humans have been sold a story that our physical bodies get old and get sick. And as the Pleiadians like to say, that's not an energetic fact. That is only a limiting belief, but one that is cranked out from every corner of our reality to encourage us to believe in the weakness of our physical bodies. And so as we start to take a moment and just question what we have been taught, we start to see that most of what we believe isn't actually a universal truth. It's just someone's story, the version of events that we have been given, and we don't have to agree to that. So what the Pleiadians wanted to do with this week's point of view is start to help us stand back in our power as creators. Because as we start to examine what we have been programmed with and just make the conscious decision that that is not what we choose as our truth, we move to a different reality. And as you've heard them say many, many times, we shift through billions of parallel realities per second. And y'all, that is billions with an S. So just take a second and think about that all of the different realities that are available to you in a single second. So this is how much you can completely change your reality. And we do that by examining our belief systems. It all comes down to what we believe because what we believe is what we use our free will to make our reality. And we can choose something different. Because our goal as lightworkers and starseeds, and as we move more into the 5D energies, 
is we want to be the one in conscious, creative control. We don't want to be believing what we are being fed anymore because what we are being fed benefits someone. And so buy into that if that is what you want to create. But as we start to be more savvy as an awakened community, the guides are encouraging us to start questioning everything we are being told to believe. Whenever you hear something, do you choose to make that your truth? Because your beliefs is how you vote. And it is all up to you what you believe. Because most of the things that we think of as truth are actually just perception. So that is a little trip down the rabbit hole of a topic the Pleiadians have been talking to me a lot about lately. And it has been a game changer. So let that float around in your mind for a while. It takes a minute to integrate this message. But as you start to play with this in your life, you'll see how transformative it really is. So let me know in the comments below what your reaction is as you hear the Pleiadians explain this. And while you're down there, don't forget, hit the subscribe button and the like button if you haven't done that yet. I'll see you soon. Bye.